O overall, uh, there will eventually be standards in a number of academic disciplines. But initially, those working on Common Core, the governors and, and their education people, have focused in on math and, appropriately, English language arts. In English language arts, for instance, what we're doing is making sure that the reading that young people do is, is rigorous. And by that, we mean more complex. Frankly, less fiction, more nonfiction, more technical. In the workplace, it's necessary to read instructions, read manuals, write manuals, give clear instructions to other people that you work with, other shifts, and frankly, to the users of your products. We can't achieve that, though, if the students are writing and reading purely fiction. Now, there's a lot of good fiction out there. That will continue to be in there, the classics, of course, and Shakespeare and Dickens and some of the great writers. But also what you'll see is increasingly from elementary school on and by senior high that 70% of the reading will actually be nonfiction, more technical, uh, more difficult reading levels. What we hope to do though is by exposing young people to that reading, have them prepared for college, have them prepared for technical courses, STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math courses, and have them ready for the workplace. Uh, that's the kind of reading that, that, that they will have to do there. Of course, we also know that people write the way they read. In other words, that if you can read technical information and grasp it, understand it, comprehend it, retain that knowledge, you'll also be better suited to writing that same kind of material. So the reading and writing will go hand in hand. They will work to, uh, to improve their writing skills while they improve their reading skills, but it will be of a more technical nature.